Chills. Major chills. Okay, I've never seen the K2 go like this. This is crazy, dude. I can feel the energy in my hands. It's like, is that you that's like touching me? Is the bad spirit demonic? Cross the rods. If it's a demon, cross the rods. Alton, Illinois, a true river town. Its waters the Mississippi, the Illinois, and the Missouri. Alton was born way back in 1818 after Rufus Easton established it as a river town and gave it his son's name. Alton is known for its limestone bluffs and historic homes, where at one time, Confederate prisoners of war were kept behind bars in the Alton military prison during the Civil War. Alton, you can say it's a quaint, old, historic Midwest community and some folks say it is the most haunted small town in all of America. The Unexplained Cases team wanted to find out for ourselves if it is a true hotspot for paranormal activity. One place we've always wanted to investigate, it's this joint, the McPike Mansion. Its owners, George and Sharon Ludke. I'm basically a big chicken. Right. I do not watch scary movies. I don't do any of that, you know, so. But you now own one of the most haunted places in all of America. I do. Well, I, I <laughs> see, I think they just always laugh because, you know, who's, who's this woman, this Baptist woman who's, you know, raised right. in the Baptist church and, you know, own McPike Mansion. So, who haunts the home? Um, well, I think Henry's here because he wants to be here. I do think there's unfinished business here. There's some truth that a spirit wants known. The McPike Mansion was built in 1869 by Henry Guest McPike. Many believe, besides Henry haunting his old home, he has his wife Mary, their children, and a personal attendant named Sarah. But Sharon believes another one-time owner is still hanging out in her place too. And I looked up and got a chill and I saw a man in the second story window. I went, I'm not really seeing this. So I walked over to the bird feeder mm -hmm. and I looked up again and I saw a man with a striped shirt and a tie on and it's actually like pinkish color. So, but I do believe that that was Paul Oshinger actually. Uh -huh. So like from like the forties or something. Right, is what it looked like. right. Okay. Yeah. I quickly learned the McPike mansion is one spooky place. We're uh, walking the trail around the uh, McPike mansion. We're getting ready to go down in the cellar. I was waiting for Rick kind of in this field area where um, one of the folks that works here says that yeah a, a female presence a woman's been seen kind of in this area so I'm like okay interesting so I was looking over there and while I was waiting for Rick I saw what I thought were fireflies but they weren't yellow it was like white kind of balls of light that were kind of bouncing I saw like two maybe three of them and then they were gone so I was thinking oh cool okay yeah fireflies were you know, almost July it makes sense of course now that we're out here on the grounds there's like no fireflies and there's whatever it was it's gone but I, yeah i'm convinced now that it was probably some kind of spiritual energy and i'm probably the only one i guess really saw it because i was only was really looking over here at the time so we started our investigation in the home cellar with some fellow investigators our k2 meter reacted like we'd never seen before got a ghost radar oh, oh, here too, we go. So what the hell, dude? Look at that. It's like I can feel the energy in my uh, my hands. I can actually feel it in my fingers. Like literally feeling en energy. Look at that. In my hands, it's like radiating down my fingers. I mean, that is crazy. I'm not surprised that you will feel something that much. We're in a freaking cellar. Where would it be coming from? Well, exactly. And the fact that the one that's to my right is doing nothing. Dude, I can feel this. Like in my hands, my hands are like pulsating right now. So you got something seriously going on. Something like walking. It's like something touching my arm right now. Something literally is touching my arm right now. I can feel it touching my arm. It's like fingers going up my arm. Okay, this is creepy, dude. My arm's going like, like numb. 
looks like someone's somebody, my somebody's uh, somebody, like somebody's just got a hold of my arm right now, which would make sense. Is that you grabbing my arm? I'm assuming that's you grabbing my arm, huh? Okay, that's cool. That's all right. Are you the ones kind of scratching my arm a little bit? Sharon believes it could be the McPikes using their spiritual energy to light up the K2 meters in her cellar. Are you... Can you, can you tell me who you are? I've got a recorder right here. You can speak right into it. What's your name? Did the word kangaroo come up? No, I was just hoping. Oh, okay. Well, I've got one circle back Dude, here. my arm is like, just like, <laughs> I'm just, just like radiating inside my, my arm right now. Let's have, now, here's what's interesting. All right, so I'm holding, I'm holding this one. Let's see if okay. I can get this in the frame. Something right here. Yep. So somebody's right here. Like in between us. Like, right, somebody's like standing right here right now. But like, I don't feel anything though. Well, I'm on the red. I mean, I just... But, like, look look how much that's going crazy. Whatever that means. Specific. She's got a dot on hers for about where you're at. Mine's at advice. Now, I'm going to take mine away. I'm going to put my camera away from it. It's still going. I got specific. Well, see, now mine's still going. And yours is still going. I got an eye. I'm sorry. I'm really out of it. Took care of it. Mine? What, what is going on? Oh, yours. See, then I feel it. When it goes up to red, it kind of like tingles up my arm a little bit. Now I'm putting it on my leg. It's down to green. Just so you guys know, the guy that I was talking to about the game. One of the other mysteries of the McPike Mansion is a crypt behind it. Nobody really knows who or what is in it. So we pulled out our dousing rods in hopes of connecting with the spirit in it. And what happened next was truly remarkable. If there's a spear with us, cross the tips of our rod, my rods right here. That's it. You can do it. Excellent. Through a series of questions and answers, we believed we connected with one of the McPike children. Could you uncross the rods to let me know if you died in the house? Okay, so you died in the house. Okay. Chills. Chills. I can feel you're, you're here with us. I can feel it on my arms, too. Were you married? If you were married, please cross the rods for me. Okay, so you were married, okay. If your wife is still with you here, could you please uncross the rods if her spirit is with you, if you're both here? Okay, so bo both of you. Is she here to my left by chance? So she's probably next to me. Okay, and you're right in front of me, sir? Point three. Point three. Okay. Point well, it's very nice to meet you both. I appreciate it. Looks like you guys still want to talk a little bit. So, okay. Yeah. I, I realize that you're over there. Okay. Is your is your father and father in law? Oh. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's let's settle down. We'll try to settle down here. I'll I'll ask you some questions. Is there anybody? If there's anybody else in the house right now, besides yourself, your father, or anybody else? Could you uncross the rods? If there's anybody else here at the mansion, still. Okay, so there are other people here at the, okay, at the mansion, okay. Is the person in this crypt behind me, is it a McPike family member? If they are one of your family members, could you cross the rods for me, please? Is this, not, if it's not a family member of yours that's here in this crypt, could you cross the rods for me? So, okay, so this is not this is not a McPike family member that's sitting back here. Okay, so we don't know we don't know who that is. We're gonna try to figure that out. Cellar there, were you if you were down in the cellar with us tonight, one or both of you or your kids maybe, could you cross the rods? We we're just curious if that was you guys down there. Can you cross the rods? Let us know. Okay, so it was you that was down there tonight. Very cool. Now if it was one of you that was messing with that device that I had, uh, you probably saw it in my hands. Lighting it up? Lighting it up. It was kind of green and yellow and red. If it was if, if it was you guys, can you uncross the rods? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's how we met each other. Okay, so you were the one that was manipulating my little device there. Do you live here in the 1800s? If so, please cross the rods if you lived here in the 1800s. 
Okay. Okay, so it looks like you guys were here in the 1800s. Okay, that's very cool. Out of curiosity, if Abraham Lincoln is the president where you are right now, could you cross the rods? If Abraham Lincoln is the president of the United States, please cross the rods. If Abraham, so Abraham Lincoln is the president where you are. He is a great man. Is the McPike Mansion, is it haunted by spirits? If it is haunted by spirits, please cross the rods to let us know that you are still here with us. I know that the family that owns it now is gonna be fixing it. If you're happy with the family that owns the house now and all the things that they're going to be doing it to make it look nice, make it look like when you were there, cross the rods to show me that you really like, oh yes, mm -hmm. you do mm -hmm. like the work that they're doing. But during the dowsing rod session, things took a dark turn. As we learned, there was something sinister that wanted to join the conversation. Now, random question. So my back has been hurting while we've been talking. If any of you are responsible for my back hurting, can you cross the rods? I don't think so. Good. I think so. No, that, that I'm, sounds I'm, like... I'm hoping that that uh, wasn't uh, the reason why. You know, we always like to be careful. We just want to make sure, is there any bad spirits that are around the property here? Hopefully not in the house. If there's bad spirits here, can you cross the rods? Okay, so there okay. are some bad spirits here. Okay. But hopefully they're not here with us right now. As far as people that live in the house. Okay. Oh, I hope that's not a bad spirit back there. As far as the people that live in the house, they must be all good spirits. Can you straighten the rods back up? There you go. There. Oh, there you go. Nice. Okay, you want to make your point. That's, okay. uh, that's so, very good. So now let me ask, ask it a different way. Is a bad spirit responsible for my back hurting? If so, cross the rods. So if it was a bad spirit that was messing with... Yeah, that's what mm, I thought okay. so. Yeah, so okay. it's not you guys. So we have somebody else that's a bad spirit that is with us here. That we want to try to get that person away from you. Was that... Is, is the bad spirit someone in your family? If so, cross the rods. Oh, I don't think so. I don't feel it. Is the bad spirit somebody that's from Alton? Cross the rods. Okay, so this is not a bad... Okay, so... Is the bad spirit demonic? Cross the rods. If it's a demon, cross the rods. Mm. Okay. Okay. Well, well, in the name of Jesus, get back. You are not permitted to interact with us. This seemed to drive out that bad spirit, fortunately protecting us and our ghostly guests. If you're ready to go back home tonight and say goodnight, why don't you put the rods back out in front of me so we can say goodnight. So you guys, can, unless you've already left, have you left? Nope, you're still here. Okay, say goodnight, why don't you, can you put Ma'am, I think you're on my right. Would you mind putting the rod out in the front so I can just say a proper goodbye? There you go. Just kind of swing it around to the front there. And I just want to say thank you again for talking to us. And, and there you go right there. Thank you very much for inviting us to your home uh, and having us. Um, it, was, it was a pleasure and, and an honor to be here. And uh, your father was a great man. And um, we just thank you and, and, and go to the light and be at peace. And until we talk again. All right, that was pretty intense. That was very intense. McPike Mansion, a bucket list paranormal investigation in the books for the Unexplained Cases team. We didn't leave this spooky old mansion unimpressed. Oh, so I could go like to the staircase? Yeah, you could go to the staircase. Okay. Except you just can't go in the rooms. So okay.
something, just something feels kind of weird in here. One of the other most haunted places in Alton, the Mineral Springs Hotel, built by a pair of German immigrants back in 1914. Its tour guide is Luke Naliborski. Uh, the Lur brothers, they, uh, they owned a meat packing plant down the street and they were going to build an ice house on this area here and discovered mineral water and decided to build a hotel slash spa in its spot. You know, there was a lot of beliefs that mineral waters would cure a, a lot of different ailments and uh, uh, this was supposedly very high in medicinal qualities. That reputation made the Mineral Springs Hotel become a place for the rich and famous. There's stories of gangsters who stayed here. Um, a lot of celebrities stayed here uh, in partook in the water. So um, the place was a really happening place. They used to have these lavish parties around the swimming pool area and orchestras performing and things like that. But after the war, it fell into disrepair. Today, it's just a series of small shops selling antiques. So why is it haunted? The answer could be in the water around and underneath it. Many paranormal investigators believe water from the rivers and limestone carry and harness energy. It is conductive and the spirits draw energy and make the hotel and the town, for that matter, haunted. We go 77.9, you're going in the right direction. 77.7, triple sevens, triple sevens, how about 776? Can you make it 776? Can you make it 775? One point. Can you, nope. 4.4. 1.1. Is that you that's doing that? Can you make it go back up again? The Unexplained Cases team investigated every single corner of the old building, and the paranormal activity we captured, it did not disappoint. This was especially true down in the pool area. Many investigators believe the ghost of a little girl is still playing in its phantom waters. Uh, the swimming pool was where my biggest uh, story happened. Um, I was sitting down in the deep end of the pool. There were several chairs in a circle and all the lights were out. And as I was sitting there in the pool, I kept hearing somebody walking on each side, you know, around the edge of the pool. And every time you turn in that direction, but you never see anybody in there. When the lights are out, it's, it's very dark down there. And uh, so at one point I heard footsteps on the right side. So when I turned and looked, didn't see anything. But then when I looked back in front of me, probably about six to eight feet in front of me, I could see this white misty shape that was about three feet tall. Um, my first thought was since there were chairs in a circle, I'm just seeing light must be coming from somewhere and it's reflecting off this chair. Cause I mean, it was about the height of what a chair would have been. So I reached down into my pack and I grabbed my flashlight and turned it on and shined it right in front of me. And when I was turning it on, I could still see that white misty shape until the light came on. The mist was gone, but I also noticed that there was no chair in front of me. There was a chair here and a chair here. We wanted to find out for ourselves if the little girl's spirit is still in the pool area. Whatever it was, it did set off our equipment and it scared the hell out of me. Dude, it just feels weird in here. I mean, I've got like, I feel kind of sick and sweaty and just, oh, whoa, whoa. That's significant. I got that, that was significant. Are you who is here with us right now? Can you show yourself? Chills, major chills. Okay, I've never seen the K2 go like this. This is crazy, dude. I can feel the energy in my hands. It's like, is that you that's like touching me? It was right about then I felt some kind of energy surround us, and for the first time ever, what I believed to be a ghost actually pushed its way right through me. I well, remember I totally felt like something walked right through me and like kind of made me kind of just sort of like, you know, when you kind of, if you're like bent over and you like look up too fast and you, get, you feel like you're going to kind of fall over, that's what it felt like. It's like but, something just kind of walked through me. I'm like, what the hell? But see, it's almost like we're being encircled. Cause it's like, I feel like there was, again, something behind me. As creepy as it was downstairs in that pool area, upstairs, well, the feeling was heavy. We investigated several rooms under renovation. Something, just something feels kind of weird in here. All that work was possibly stirring up the spirits in the old Mineral Springs Hotel. In one room in particular, the electromagnetic energy was intense. Okay, uh, point 
0.4, pretty, it's 78 degrees, 0.2, 2.3. That was my stomach. Four. Five. Somebody laughing. Point seven. Standing still. Still climbing. Someone's still laughing. Point eight. Still climbing. Down to point seven. Point seven. This is, I don't, there's no power in this building, right? I mean, this I section. No. No pipes. Feels kind of heavy in here. Now, we tried to debunk these EMF spikes on our Mel meter, but there was no power or plumbing in the room. The activity continued, and it was at this point the area got very heavy around us. I felt nauseous and a feeling of despair. There could be a reason for that. Yeah, the belief with that room is that some, some people must have been up there conducting a seance and maybe did it improperly and didn't close the door whenever they were finished and you know some maybe some things got through and, and people believe that whatever got through was, was something negative. This is very dark. This is very dark, but I know that means it's very intriguing for a lot of people. And so um, it's very dark. It definitely has some sort of um, like whoever used whatever medium used that word prior portal or vortex that's just um pulling in dark energy it's just pulling in like like i said these spirits that are even very underdeveloped very unconscious spirit um it's not serving anyone it's not doing anything i'm telling you they should just burn the building down it's it's not helping anything it's not doing a service to anyone um, and I don't think there's anything we can do to, to change that other than just burn it down and start over. The Mineral Springs Hotel, it is historic and very haunted. It seems that while the property is no longer a place to rent a room for the night, the ghosts and spirits, well, they never got that memo. They've never officially checked out. Reporting in Alton, Illinois, I'm Darren Dito for Unexplained Cases.